hey guys i decided to edit this video and just kind of improv a voiceover just have a little chat because i feel like i've been doing a lot of tutorials lately and that's great and i'm super proud of them and i hope that you guys are loving them but i also just want to you know get in touch get a little more personal you guys know i love being personal with you and i love when you're personal with me as well i feel like it's less of i make videos and people watch like i had somebody reach out to me today after post i posted a story talking about something i'm going to get into in this video and someone replied to it and was like i just feel compelled to message you i'm really hurt i'm going through a breakup like do you have any advice and i was like do i have advice i think i'm like the queen of breakups um i've been through quite a few really brutal ones and um, we've just been talking and connecting and her story has almost brought me to tears. It's really sad and it's so cool. Like I wouldn't have had that connection and that conversation if I didn't have this YouTube channel. Like it brings so much more into my life than just art, you know, like human connection is what I love so much. I talk about that tons on this channel and I just think it's really beautiful that, you know, people of all ages all around the world, like we just... It's like it starts with the art and then it grows into something so much more than that. And it makes me really, really grateful to have this platform and to have people that trust me and want to confide in me and want to have any sort of connection. Like it just means the world to me. And I also had this one guy reach out to me who was like, yeah, I used to watch your YouTube like resin tutorials. And um yeah, I don't know him. I think he's from Germany. And he was just like, I came across one of your chat videos and I just wanted to say like, you're super empathetic, someone I'd love to meet. And just hearing that, it's like, me? You'd want to meet me? That's so cool. How awesome. I love that. And when people enjoy my chat videos, you automatically get such brownie points because those are my favorite. It's so funny. I just pressed stop recording and I did not even plan to talk about that at all. That just came flowing out. And I love that. That felt really good to talk about and release just as this is just a stream of consciousness my thoughts that are coming to me in the moment is my chat videos get close to no views but i always get such good comments and connections from people um and that's what i love about them they're just like you know how a lot of people get really inauthentic and they'll like disappear from their career like youtube or whatever they're doing and they come back and they're like i just wasn't feeling authentic and I just never want that to happen to me. Even if my chat videos get like 40 views, they're definitely the lowest viewed videos on my channel, which is totally fine because people are here for resin. They're not here to watch me rant, rant about life, but um, I will always make them because they make me so happy and just feel, I feel so good after releasing them and I love the connections that usually come from them. I usually meet really cool people from that. And I think that I just love people. Like, that sounds so cliche and stupid, but it's so true. I love talking to people, which is weird because I'm shy, but I love when people tell me their stories and talk to me about life and especially from this channel, meeting people from other countries and hearing about how different their life is from mine. And I just think connection is so incredible and I love it. I just love people and hearing about people. I just want to listen to you guys tell me stories like all day. That's really fun to me. And I feel like at a lot of the core base level of people, we're the same, you know? Like the things people talk to me about no matter where they live in the world. Like talking to me about heartbreak or doubting themselves with art or anything, you know? We all just have these things in common no matter where. And it's like, I love sharing the human experience with other people and having connections in all these different moments with people that I wouldn't if I didn't have this channel. So yeah. Okay, I'll stop being sappy now. <laughs> this is an absolutely terrible angle. I don't know why I did this. Sometimes I just get so in the moment, I forget that I'm filming. So I'm sorry, you can only see the bottom bit of this record. Um, these are all thrifted by the way, which is really cool. They're scratched, they're not gonna work again. So why not turn them into a piece of art? <laughs> so the one thing I wanted to touch on in this video, the one thing I had planned, um, I had a very, interesting week like i had acting class yesterday and i had a vocal production session today and it just like nothing was really going too well for me which was kind of upsetting because i'm i'm finally going for my goals and my dreams and you know working on music and really pursuing acting in a serious way and i think what's so hard is having weeks like that when you're a beginner because it's like this isn't going well and i'm just starting out 
am I meant for this? Is this for me? And I know that a lot of you can relate to this feeling in whatever you're doing. And I know for sure people feel like this with resin art because people, you know, might look at me and they're like, oh my gosh, how do you do this? And I think it's really sweet when people say I'm talented, but I'm like, I am not. It took me two years of creating art for anyone other than friends and family to ever buy anything from my shop. Like in 29, or maybe it was a year, maybe two. I think it was about two years. It was so much time. Like think about how many products, pieces of art, items you make in two years. And I didn't get any sales and my YouTube videos would get like 40 views. And right now I have one of my older videos that are it's getting close to half a million views. And I never ever thought, like if I used to get like 28 views, I would be happy. So the thing is we have to, f I'm going to do a whole video on the book Atomic Habits by James Clear because that book has been life changing for me. But we just have to follow the 1% better everyday rule because getting 1% better every day is better than nothing at all. And that's something that I have had to learn the hard way, especially this year, because I've always been someone that denied myself of what I really wanted to be doing or held myself back out of fear. And I'm like, I'm in a music production course right now as well. And I'm not going to be releasing an album tomorrow. I'm not going to be cast in a movie tomorrow. But if I put little effort or a lot of effort, depending on the day, every single day into my goals, you will get better. And Resin really proved that to me because I watched my work improve from... You guys have probably seen my earlier work. I'll link a video down below showing some of my older work. It's like night and day how it was when I first started. And I learned a lot through trial and error with myself, which is why I love helping people with Resin because I want to speed up the process for everybody else and not make everyone <laughs> spend years figuring it out. But it was hard and it was a lot of frustration and no sales and no views. I made no money off of it, like absolutely none. It was all my own money investing into it. It was hard, it was really hard. But I just wanna encourage everybody that if you have, this is what you have to do. If you have a bad resin pour, that's one bad resin pour that does not define you going forward. For me, I had one bad acting class, like extremely bad acting class, but that does not mean that I'm not cut out for this or it will define my whole future. If we give up the moment where things get hard or things don't go the way we want them to, then we will never reach our goals. When you're feeling down on yourself, this will not be a cure for it, but say to yourself, I deserve to take up space here. That helps me a lot because in my mind when my by the way when i say my acting class is going bad not the class itself i love my coaches i i've worked with i love my class everything but i mean for me and my acting skills if you will um my mind will say like i shouldn't be in this class people are wondering why i'm even in this class you know those those thoughts that go through our mind with a lot of things but just remind yourself, I deserve to take up space in this class and I deserve to take up space in this industry. I deserve to take up space in the art community. You deserve to be here and everybody has a place. You just have to find it. And don't let those quote bad moments or mistakes define you or stop you from moving forward because getting a little bit better every day is better than nothing at all, like I said. Also, I tried experimenting with some flowers on this piece. It did not work out. I took them out, but anyways, now I just changed my mindset to looking at things like mistakes. Obviously, I'm putting that in quotes because nothing's really a mistake, but they're just moments to learn. And I think I was, my perfectionism actually was destroying me as a person and as an artist because I needed everything to be so perfect all the time, even though it doesn't exist. If you have perfectionism, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if things weren't perfect, I would just give up altogether like past me would have probably done this acting class that went bad and been like i can't do this i this isn't for me or if i had some really bad resin experiences when i was first starting out if i had my older mindset i would have just given up and now i look at these moments as just moments to grow and get better my vocal production didn't go so well today i was working in a really really tough genre that i've never done before i've never worked with harmonies in the way that i did today and old me would have been like, you're not good at this right away, so you should just never do this. You have to be an expert right away. And I'm like, my acting class wasn't great, but I'm not going to be winning Oscars next, like, next month, you know, or cast in a movie. I'm not going to be able to sing vocal harmonies that I have never sang in my entire life on the first try. Things take time, and 
art is a skill. It's something you have to build on. It's not something that we just do. And yeah, some people have a slight natural talent with things, but most of it's just hard work. And with resin, yeah, it's really nice when people say I'm talented, like I said, but it really was just hard work. It's just doing hundreds and hundreds of resin pours until I figured it out, until I got the result I wanted. And about my acting class again, I was really frustrated because I did so much homework preparing for it. And then in the moment, the execution was just not there. But now it's a learning experience. I can take a step back and say, okay, I was really in my head. Why was I so in my head? How can I ease that anxiety so I can actually execute the character and the role that I'm going for? And instead of looking at it as this terrible thing that makes me think I shouldn't be doing it, I look at it as, okay, how can I go forward from here? How can I grow from this moment? Almost nothing worthwhile happens overnight. Like we aren't gonna wake up tomorrow and be able to paint amazing paintings or be good enough to be cast in a movie. It's the work that you put in every single day that really counts. And one day you'll look back and be like, wow, look how much better I already am than a month ago or a year ago. And maybe every day is an exaggeration because obviously we deserve rest and we deserve off days, but committing very very often i should say is what we should be aiming for and have faith in yourself you got this like use take a moment of courage and just go for it take that leap do what you've always wanted to do because regret is so much stronger than rejection no, no matter what rejection you face and whatever you want to do i promise you it will hurt less than regretting ever trying inspiration isn't always there motivation isn't always there but hard work always can be now let's get into the finished products i also included a bunch of photos because it's kind of hard to take videos of resin sometimes since it's so reflective you can just see my ring light so i have some cool photos coming up after and it's kind of hard to do a tutorial with this just because i really go by feeling what you know i just feel it out where is a section that needs more color where it needs to be moved more and as you start to work with alcohol inks and resin you'll just get the feel for it I know you will <laughs> and also all the supplies will be linked in the description below if you want to use what i used in this video and yeah like i said for the records i just went and thrifted them you can find records for a couple dollars that are scratched and can't be used anyways so it's also a great way to save money if you want a cheap surface to do resin on records are a great way to go Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope something in this video resonated with you. And yeah, if you enjoyed the art or the chat or both, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.